rain. So it looks unsettled this weekend, very windy at times, particularly on Saturday, and we'll see further rain in areas where we really don't need it. So stay tuned to the forecast and head online to see all the latest weather warnings. You can't stop the future. It's already here. And it's always a step ahead. 2020 is the start of a new era. For a new generation. Yesterday's heroes and today's benchmark. The rising stars have been set ablaze. They don't want you to pass the torch. They got their own fire burning. They're stepping up and speaking up. Role models with a new role. So keep your potential. They want gold. They're taking over. This new generation aren't just here to play the game. They're here to raise it. This is the stop of dreams. BBC Sport. Raise the game. BBC News, a very warm welcome if you're watching here in the UK on PBS in America or around the globe. My name is Mike Embley. Our top stories. President Trump tries to calm fears over the spread of the coronavirus, telling the American people the risk is very low. We're very, very ready for this, for anything, whether it's going to be a uh, breakout of larger proportions or whether or not we're, uh, you know, we're at that very low level. International efforts to contain the outbreak are intensifying as more new cases are recorded outside China than inside. India's Prime Minister calls for calm as at least 27 people are killed in clashes over a citizenship law in Delhi. And the Pope urges Roman Catholics around the world to give up online insults for Lent. Hello to you. Donald Trump has appointed Vice President Mike Pence to lead the American response to the coronavirus emergency. Both men claimed to a White House news conference.